My Tinder profile is about to read, I like to carve things and light things on fire. So we're doing something a little bit different today. Um... I had originally recorded this as a tutorial kind of thing, except for while I was doing it, I was watching the 100 Baby Challenge, because at that point, I think I had been recording pretty much all day. So um, I can't actually use the audio for this video the way that it was originally recorded. And um, so now I have to record a voiceover. <laughs> uh, this is definitely also not a uh, advertisement for the Sabra Spinach and Artichoke hummus. I highly recommend it though. It was delicious and that's about the time that I remembered that I had it there. So first things first, I bought the carving tools for these stamps from the Dollar Tree. Um, I do have a problem where you, pr if you press on them too hard, the tool will sink back down into the wood that it's glued to. So um, you do need to be a little careful when you're using these. But I was pretty pleased with how they both carved these stamps and punched holes in random other things that I needed to punch holes in. Um, so that was pretty good. And then these are just some standard erasers that I bought at the Dollar Tree as well. I believe I showed them to you in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. If not, I just need you to know that I have a lot of videos pre-planned. So um, you're about to see some content that was actually filmed a couple of weeks ago, which includes a Dollar Tree haul that might have these these stamps. I think I already showed them to you, though, because I think Lorraine commented that she was excited to see these. And this is, what, this is for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I did start by drawing out a basic design on the rubber stamp with a pencil and now I'm just going through and um, carving out the design in the on the stamp so I think this one is a heart and uh, I get really excited about like it's just really satisfying this is just a really satisfying craft I love to like it, it just, there's just nothing like it like just feeling the like sharp object like rend through your stamp. <laughs> I wish there was something I could do with those little shavings though. I feel like that's waste waste of rubber. Like maybe melt them down and make a new eraser. I don't know, but uh I do get a little sad that carving things take so much. <laughs> I really need to learn how to add music to videos. Then I wouldn't have to talk to you. I could just be like, oh, look, here's some cute music and a person carving stamps. Have at it. It is a little difficult on the super small things without uh, a less basic set of tools to get into, like, those tiny areas and really carve out the details of your stamp, but... I found them quite effective. I was pleased. They were only a dollar and I don't like to invest too much in hobbies that are new until I absolutely know that I'm going to stick to that hobby. So I was pretty pleased with them. Sweep, sweep. And then the ink actually did come from Michael's, and this little pad of paper came from the Dollar Tree. I put some ink on a paper towel. It might actually be toilet paper at this point, I'm not sure. Um, just, you know, some, like a rag or something. And then stamp, and that's how it turned out. So I was pretty excited about that. Now, as you can see here, I drew an eyeball shape onto the screen stamp. A little easier to see now that the stamp's not so dark. And then you just repeat the process and try to get all of the excess out while, well, while keeping the parts that you want. So, like, we want the eyeball part to be raised. We're going to carve out around the actual, like, eye shape to make that just the, the eyeball shape raised. And uh, you also want to dig out in between, like, the actual, like, where the white of the eye is, essentially. I 
as you can see here, I tried it out. I was pretty happy with how the eyeball turned out. And now I'm drawing a little snake with some hearts. Um, I'm very into bullet journaling, or at least I was uh, prior to switching jobs. I'm still trying to get back into it. Um, I'd really like a good budget bullet journal recommendation because that's the thing I struggle with the most is budgeting. And, uh, but I'm in a fandom right now that has a very handsome, very debonair little snake guy. Uh, I don't actually like snakes in real life, but I definitely love fictional serpents. So, um, uh, making myself a little tiny snake boy for my bullet journal so that I can decorate the margins with my snake and my eyeball and my heart. And you can see it's a little bit difficult to get some of the tools into those really fine, small areas. Um, but you can do it. You just have to be super careful. Um, I probably should have whipped out my scalpel, which I also purchased at the Dollar Tree, um, just to help carve around those shapes. But for what it's worth, it worked out pretty well uh, the way that we did it right now. So sorry I'm saying um so much. It's still early in the morning and my brain is just dead. <laughs> And now we're just going to test out our little snake boy and make sure that the stamp stamps the way that I want it. And ta-da! Looks good. If you like this video, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing, or sharing it with your friends. That way they too can learn how to light things on fire.